I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <sighs> Girl, Tamar done responded or uh, is asking for justice <laughs> for James. Girl, she's asking for justice for James, girl. Let's just get into it because I just. <sighs> Why do I have to sit through seven commercials? You don't. You can sub up, though. Life is great. All right. Hey, everybody. I look crazy. Let me take this off. <laughs> oh, Not that my head is crazy or not. Um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened. Um, to him and when I say what happened to him he got assaulted um, at my show um, and and it was by Krishan but ah! um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued and so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone I, I want you to know um Girl, say it. The reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends. And we put this all together for the fans. Um, I'm not a clout chaser. I don't I don't need that. Like my circle is this small. You know, I um don't have to sell tickets for you know, like, oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this, that, other. This show has been sold out for a month. Um, okay. I didn't have an opening act. I knew. I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Oh. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited. Someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as, like, a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um I knew that she was rowdy, you know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions and I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry. I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. OK, uh -huh. um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was uh -huh. and the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity and so that's really all it was um, I didn't call her and be like oh come on and perform on my show oh um, damn we so Krishan was not asked to perform then why would Krishan say she was asked to perform and unfortunately Krishan has technically lied to us saying that that basically didn't happen uh, she basically said that she had everything else was on camera. So why wasn't this? So I don't feel as though everybody else is lying. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Normally when Krishan like in a situation like that, for the most part, I don't think she lie. She asked her on the live. Where is that? Can y'all find me that? We need that live. Is that, are you talking about Krishan's live? Cause we about to go look look at it. And DJ Scott was setting up to play her music. Oh no, then that's a lie. That's absolutely a lie. You knew Tony was from Tamar. Planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, Rashawn live. Okay, we she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM, and I reached out to her. I mean, like I said before, like we all have, you know, because she was like, remember, because she was drunk. Oh. Wait, yes, it's the live of Carlissa pulling up. Then y'all gonna have to find a receipt on that. Then can y'all go find? Can y'all go look at my reaction to Carlissa's live? I mean, to Krishan's live and find that. Uh, what you got? Little sister to all of us watching her, and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help. We want to help, and this is what this Z Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several link. girls. That I didn't, I didn't know. If it's a YouTube video, never mind, because I don't know if he copyrighted. Me. Drew Sedora, I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I didn't. I don't know. Um, I don't. I didn't know any of them. Really, the only person that I knew was Nivea. You know. Um, but I wanted this tour to be about, you know, second chances and, you know, giving new opportunities and. Um
Look at when they were getting the Love and War audience together. DJ Sky's on stage coordinating with the DJ while Krishan is saying, turn lights down. But that was dead in the middle of her singing Love and War. That wouldn't even make sense. I don't know. Um, I didn't call Krishan to open up for me. Uh, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion, right? And I was like, oh, it'd be cool if you, if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people, you know, your Baltimore sisters. And that's really what I was thinking. Um, everyone else get compensated for coming on my show and opening up for me. I try to always do the, do the right thing um, by people. Um, and there's a contract. Um, we're professional. I'm a real touring company. Um, and that wasn't the case. Um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes. Well, that didn't confirm it. What she did say, if if Krishan play, she think it would be cute if Krishan played this vibe all the time and twerk, not perform. Here's my question to them. With they, I ain't gonna say old ass, but with y'all mature ass, who the fuck gave Krishan the mic? Who gave her the mic? If she was not supposed to perform and you're singing Love and War, who gave Krishan the mic? Now, if they, if they come out and say Krishan snatched the mic, that's a different conversation. But I, she didn't look like she snatched the mic. She looked like somebody handed her one and her ass walked up there because she thought she was supposed to be doing something. Why would y'all hand her a mic? And this does sound like a setup. I ain't gonna lie. I've been, I, when y'all been saying, I've been like, y'all tripping. Nah. Why would Krishan have a mic? That is number one. I mean, literally for no reason. Look at DJ Scott's story. Okay, I will. She has a mic randomly for no reason, dead in the middle of love and war. Now, it's given they said, go out there and talk while she's performing. But what the hell would Tamar get out of setting up Krishan? Rock had a video and Tay asked her, was she ready to perform? <sighs> this shit is a mystery. This shit almost just as bad as Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane. Um, and everybody that's come to a Tay Martian show know that we don't have any violence. No one has ever fought at my concerts. We laugh, we cry, people have passed out, you know, due to, you know, being, you know, inebriated or, you know, just excited at being at a concert. But this is a, a, a safe, <laughs> loving, healing place. And um, I hope Krishan come out of uh, retirement to, to speak about this. I don't know. I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you. Um, and I also want to acknowledge Krishan. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know, I, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister, you know, to you. And that was my only objective of you coming. Um, I had no other plans. I didn't want to set you up. I didn't tell nobody not to play your music. I didn't. I just want everybody to come and have a good time. And that is really the spirit of it all. Um, but I have to acknowledge my team because my team has been traumatized. And traumatized, y'all. And don't get me wrong. It is. It is a bit much for Krishan to just haul ass and punch somebody in the face. I. I. I can't even. I can't not hold her accountable uh, accountable for that. However, y'all niggas done been in a fight before? Like, are you serious? And yo, this thing is a grown ass man, bro. I'm not saying men don't have feelings. But what I am saying is he could have defended himself. No cap. This sounds like Rashawn just hit him and bro was just like, ouch, oh my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, Krishan will sneak you. <laughs> Krishan is definitely one of them punch you in the face and I'm not going to tell you type of people. And the fact that obviously he didn't see that coming at all. Nobody else seen that coming at all. 
got the best of his face. Don't get me wrong. Got the best of his face. No cap. But to act as if we are just traumatized and distraught and we're about to die. I just think that that's crazy. <laughs> uh, Especially James. <sighs> he was assaulted and he was hurt. Are we about to cry or something? Are we looking for tears? Dude, I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish she would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that, you know, anybody, any of us wanted to use you for height. For height, no, no one... I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. I know that when people <coughs> come into this industry and, you know, they get a certain amount of stardom or fame, they feel like, oh, what does this person want with me? What does this person want with me? And there are some genuine people. Um, but um, I, I'm doing this video for, for my staff and for my team who believed in me and who has helped supported me, Tori especially, you know, who has been the most passionate about this. And he should have, you know, um, he's my partner. And, you know, watching, you know, someone so close to us, you know, get so violated is traumatizing. I don't know what the fuck Rashonda did. This shit gotta be passed. Punched in the face, bro. <laughs> like, it's giving Krishan done. Like, you know how she making it sound like Krishan hit, bro, right? He was shocked, shook, like, what the fuck? And then after that, <laughs> they are really making it sound like she had a glass of Hennessy. Excuse me, she had a bottle of Hennessy. Bam! Psh, she hit it down on the corner of the desk. After she did that, she was like, I'll kill all y'all in this motherfucker. And then she was attempting to stab everybody. We were so afraid. So after that, bam, she unzipped her jacket. Boom. She had a fucking bomb vest on. And she was about to take all of us the fuck out of here. And we were so scared. Like, bro. Like, after that, she pulled out a gun. Like, what the fuck? Nobody could jump in. Nobody could stop Krishan. Like. I just, I. And um, I, I really, honestly, truly wish none of this happened. Um, Tamar, we're still doing this part response. two. Um, like I said before, we don't fight at our concerts. We don't. We don't even. Everybody who has gone has had a lovely, fun family setting and time. And yeah, nobody's saying why she punched him. Nobody. Um. I don't know. I it, it's just unfortunate. And let me just tell you how amazing James is. Like no matter how he's feeling, he told me today, he was like, you know, when she hit me, I just feel like I just wanted to hug her. She'd be like I'm just really sorry that it all happened. And um, I don't know, I just felt like on behalf of my team, being the leader, sometimes you don't know, you know, what role to take. And I just want everybody to know. I just want everybody to know that I'm sorry. And um, I don't know. Um, but I won't be speaking about this anymore. It's, this has really hit us hard, you know, and um, 
it really hit us all hard. No one deserved it, you know, and no one wanted to hurt anybody, and no one wanted to disrespect anybody, and nobody wanted to set anybody up. I mean, just wanted to have a good time. Um, so, um, I love you guys. She crying. Y'all can't see them, her the tears because of them damn filters. And I'll see you in a few weeks. I'm sorry, James. You're an amazing person. This should have never happened. Um, and I'm also sorry, Krishan, that you feel like in, in your life that everybody is out to get you. That must be a horrible feeling. That's a horrible feeling. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. I love you. When that situation happened with, hear me out. When that situation happened with Tori and Megan, I'm like, yo, who the fuck shot Megan? Like, who, why, what, and Tori? No gun residue, no. She was able to plead the fifth. Was able to plead the fifth and some, why was she able to plead the fifth? <clears throat> I have at least seven questions. Okay. For what? Why was Krishan invited if she wasn't going to perform? You invite people that come to other cities when you come to other cities? Mm -hmm. I mean, you got uh, Lil Wayne out there. and Hell, if he moved, Chris Brown still in LA and shit. You got, uh, you know, Wiz Khalifa out there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out in L.A. Everybody's in L.A., right? That's prominent that could have showed up to this uh, event or whatever. <clears throat> Why invite the 23-year-old to a 40-plus staff, 40-plus singer you why didn't we think to meet Krishan when we was done? Okay. Why didn't we think to have dinner? Um, hell, I don't even know what question I'm on. Who gave Krishan that mic? Who gave her the microphone and for why? She had no intentions on performing. You said you had no intentions on her performing. Y'all didn't pay her to perform. You didn't do anything, no, nothing about performing, period. If anything, twerk when it's a vibe all the time comes on, right? So dead in the middle of love and war. Somebody says, Krishan, take the mic. Not only did they say, Krishan, take the mic. They turned it on. Okay. No, sometimes mics be on. Why wouldn't you cut it off? You know what I'm saying? Like, or let me hand Krishan the mic when we're done. Okay. Not only that, all y'all know how Krishan is when she drink Tamar. You older than uh, come on now. I even know if Krishan come anywhere near me. Jason Lee didn't let her drink nothing. She didn't drink a lick of shit. She had water. Why are you in the back taking shots with Krishan Rock? Knowing that when she drinks alcohol, respectfully, she's a problem. Okay? Jason Lee, who is 45, said, Krishan, you're drinking water. Now I got options. Aquafina, the sign, if you don't want them, we could go a little high on the class of water. Okay? Sparkling. He refilled her ice a couple times. You hear me? Why in the hell would you keep calling her when y'all was on, when she was on live handling other business? 
she handling the business with her baby daddy's mother, a.k.a. Krishan Jr., grandma, pulling up to her house. You telling me that she just had to come to your show when she wasn't even fucking performing? What, what was the rush? <laughs> what, what did we need her for? What, why was it so important for Krishan to pull up to your show? The youngest person on the internet right now that got the most money, okay? And, hell, I don't, I ain't counting Krishan pockets, but sis can make a coin, okay? Outside of Lil Mabu. He younger and he got a little more money, but still. She's not a singer at all. I mean, don't sing nothing. It's a vibe all the time, okay? Has the most drama with her baby daddy on every day. You cannot tell me you ain't watched Nothing on Neighborhood Talk. You can't tell me you ain't watched that on The Shade Room. You can't tell me you ain't watched that on uh, It's On Sight. You can't tell me you ain't watched that on Jason Lee. You can't tell me you ain't watched that on Hollywood Unlocked. That's all the platforms that she be on. Every day. I know for a fact. God be reacting to it. I see it. Everybody else see it. And you telling me you didn't see it? So you thought it was a good idea for you to bring her to your R&B 40 plus staff show. Even if the whole staff ain't 40 plus, everybody was in a different mood than Krishan. I mean, Krishan telling them to cut the lights on in that motherfucker or cut them off in that motherfucker. Like, I just, I would never understand why she had a mic. I would never understand why DJ Sky was talking to the DJ. I would never understand why it was so important for her to come. I don't, I would never understand why you're begging her to come to your show if you don't need clout. I mean, begging Krishan. Krishan, you got shit to do. Ty, I gotta go. I gotta do something with Tamar. I gotta do something with Tamar. I mean, you interrupted her whole situation. Then for y'all to take her to court, <laughs> girl. I ain't gonna lie, this fucked up. Cause all the begging and the pleading that Tamar was doing. To pull Krishan out of her element for you to then, or for, um, excuse me, for y'all to then take her to court is straight up bullshit, period. Now, Krishan absolutely should not um, look at the one on TikTok. Kid, you got to send me that link right here. Send me the link right here. Krishan shouldn't have put her hands on nobody. She shouldn't have. But I'm going to tell you right now. Clearly, y'all done did something. And, and, and the fact that nobody's taking no accountability. Nobody's taking no accountability for whatever was done to her. And, and granted, if it was just the fact that she didn't perform or maybe Krishan felt like she wasted her time or the fact that... um. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what would make her do this. And no proof. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.